Young people, what gets your attention? It's the worst to go to win the prize. Take our cross and follow Christ. With this generation soul by soul. Unashamed to claim the gospel of hope. This is the vision, achievers, and mission for Christ. An achiever in mission is a focused servant, not distracted by what seems good, not easily deceived by the looks of things. We know what we want and what we want is to serve the Lord faithfully. Welcome back to College Tips on Exams and Classes. I'm Pastora Yam. For tonight's College Tips, we'll be talking about friendships inside the classroom. Sophie and Dave are here to present to you College Tips on Real Friends. Amer, let's face the honest fact. Many of us struggle with the concept of friendship. It might be you or it might be others. Be reminded that biblical friendship is the only real friendship. 
Here are four characteristics of a friend that you could become and at the same time look after. This will help you become a person God wants you to be. Number one, friends who bring you closer to God. It says here in John 15 verse 15, No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. Jesus made known the Father to the apostles. This is what friendship looks like. You bring your friend closer to God. You do it by setting an example in doing good, having diligence, and being honest in and outside the classroom, and in loyalty with God. We do not settle for less. You look for friends who will teach you, guide you, and help you in Christ. Number 2. Friends who correct you for your sin. It says here in Proverbs 27 verse 6, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, profuse are the kisses of an enemy. Sin deceives us, it darkens our understanding, and makes us fools. Amers, this is why we need godly friends. Friends who will tell you what you need to hear, and friends that will help you strive harder to achieve your goal in life. Number 3. Friends who encourage you to obey God. It says here in Hebrews 3 verse 13, But exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. Amor, choose friends that will cast a bigger vision on you on why your obedience matters for God's kingdom. Friends that affirm your obedience glorifies God. Number 4. Friends will bring us to God in our weakness. Remember the paralyzed man in Luke chapter 5 verse 18 to 19, And behold, some men were bringing on a bed a man who was paralyzed, and they were seeking to bring him and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the midst before Jesus. Like the paralytic, we need other believers to carry us to God, especially in our weaknesses. When we are down, when we are in trouble, we need friends to point us back to the finished work of Christ. Amer, like everything else, the very end goal of our friendship should always be God and His glory. Oh yes, that's it for Achievers and Mission College Tips on Real Friends. We hope that you will apply those principles in your life. Always remember Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are Achievers in Mission. Hi Aimers, I'm Pastor Alex and this is AIM Report. This week we are happy to report that graduating senior high school students went to church this week bringing with them two of their friends wow thank you for being in church and see you again next week and another high school student all the way from salawag national high school has decided to follow the lord in water baptism congratulations now brothers and sisters if you wish to follow the lord and take that first step of obedience all you have to do is contact your pastors, contact your leaders, and we'll be happy and we'll celebrate with you as you follow the Lord. We have water baptisms from Tuesday up to Sunday. So, see you there. Amers, it has been a wonderful week. But you know what? Let me encourage you. God has still wonderful things in store for us. Let me read to you Galatians 6, 9. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. God bless you, Amers, and see you again next week. Hello there, Amers. Welcome again to our Amplified segment. Let us open our Bibles in Joshua 24, verse 14 to 15. 
Now therefore, fear the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your fathers served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. And for our object lesson tonight, I want to show you an object of telescope. A telescope, an image of a telescope right now. Telescope is what you use when you want to zoom in. When you want to focus and really look into something. When you don't want the distractions outside on your right and on your left to distract you from just focusing on that one thing that you really want to get your attention. You see, focus in this life, it takes discipline. And focus means you don't look at other things. Focus means you do not consider other things. You see, in this season of pandemic where most of the young people are doing things online, you see, we are not able to go to church, especially those 17 years old and below. Will you allow this pandemic to stop you from worshiping God? Will you allow this pandemic to stop you from focusing on the wonderful presence of God, from focusing on the wonderful Word of God, the awesome Word of God, words of life, words that transforms and change our lives, words that encourages us. Let us see what the Word says about focus. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23 to 27. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet that all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. So how do we live a life that is focused? Some principles to learn from this passage. Number one, guarded heart. You want to serve God long time. You want to focus on serving the Lord. We need to guard our hearts. Guard our hearts. Number two, guarded mouth. You see, out of the abundance, the mouth speaks. So if we don't guard our hearts, the next level where, we, where it will come out is in your mouth, in our mouth. That's why we guard our hearts, we guard our mouth. Guarded eyes. Where we look at. Where we look at. Are you looking at yourself serving the Lord for decades? That even in our old age, we would still serve the Lord just like Moses. So guarded heart, guarded mouth, guarded eyes, guarded feet, guarded feet. It says here, ponder the path of your feet. Who are your influences? Who are your friends? Are they serving the Lord? Then don't be amazed that one day you will stop serving the Lord because the people you allowed to influence your steps in this life are people who are not serving the Lord. Try to surround yourself with young people who also love to serve the Lord. You know what? By the grace of God, Lord willing, we can serve God till our old age. Guarded way. Guarded way. Verse 27. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. You see, the way to life is the way ahead of us. Just like what we have learned in our youth camp path, finder the lord will find a way for us actually god knows the way already but just for him to adjust in our situation he will walk with us he will walk us through that way that he has for us and that way is the way to life and the way to life is by serving the lord father we thank you so much for your word tonight thank you god that as we guard our hearts guard our mouths Guard our eyes, guard our feet, guard our ways. Lord, thank you that we can serve you faithfully, that we can live a life that is focused servanthood. May your name be praised in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Always remember we are Achiever in Mission.